Okay, and I'm back. Well, I have a lot of time to talk today. Sometimes they give me a lot of time and sometimes they don't. It just depends on how this motherfucking uh device feels, basically. So, <clears throat> we're talking about these cackling hyenas, bitches. Bitches, bitches, bitches. I love to hear you talk. That way we can go and run tell that, basically. And you'll never have a fucking any type of deal. No movie deal. <laughs> Unless it's fucking, uh, like I said, a Zeus TV. A Zeus TV. Y'all don't get tired of talking about Whitney, Wendy Williams and, uh, and Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston was a better woman than you whores. At least that bitch wasn't afraid to say, Bobby, 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 Bobby. Bobby, we need a divorce. <laughs> at least she was. At least she ain't holding on, trying to pretend like she's in a fucking fake relationship, like that bum bitch with fifteen aliases, aliases, and motherfucking uh Georgia bitch. At least I ain't no fake peach, Andy. How you doing? I ain't no fake peach. I ain't no fake peach. Now, if individuals wondering why I'm never getting on a big screen, it's because I choose to hang with the American people. Basically, I'm not going to keep making myself clear. Now, you hoes need to go ahead and get a talent, but I know that you have already burned enough bridges. All we got to do is say your names, and ain't nobody going to extend any olive branches to you when it comes to opening up doors, basically. And people are now got the drop. I just saw people know where DJ's in New Orleans. So, yes, that's what the gag is. So, if you're looking for beats of features, just know that you ain't getting none. <laughs> and that's what the gag is. I don't have time to play with your hoes. And your hoes are insecure. And your whores need to go ahead and uh find your find your daddies. That's what the global that's what global warning is, warming is. Find your daddies. I know I steered off a positive conversation. It's because today is Thursday. Thirsty Thursday at that. Because they keep on saying bandit's name, bandit's name. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all must like the term bandit. We figure since the, since the federal lick hitters want to hit licks on federal employees, state officials, and all that shit. Y'all trying to tell us about an R. Kelly. Girl, there's a, thousands of R. Kelly's. Go ahead and click on the map and you'll see the red dots. Uh, thousands of R. Kelly's around you. I am my least concern with R. Kelly is my least concern. We are talking about pedophiles that are on the ground that's easily, you know what I'm saying, easily have access to kids, enough to get their heads knocked off and all that good shit. So, yeah, uh, the Colonel Boo, I'm never, you don't have to worry about me dropping down on your channel. Ew, I told you, I do not like a, a few of them bitches. And I know they black, because I seen them. They're a part of, they were, they are a part of, were a part of the black beef YouTube sector cackling behind the head. Girl, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. So, you better hide behind the Colonel, because I don't like you, bitch. It's just something about people's spirits that rub me the wrong way. People think that you have to sit up and physically be around someone. No, you do not. All you got to do is listen to them motherfucking uh, side talk, double talk. And not necessarily contradict themselves because you can contradict yourself by saying white people run from the blacks. Run from the dysfunctional degenerates. <clears throat> you can go then, But on the other hand. <laughs> you can easily contradict yourself or whatever, especially when you're trying to get universal messages across. But this is, that's why I just tell everybody, love yourselves and defend yourselves and stand up for your civil rights, simple liberties, the constitution and all that shit. We're not going to keep on going over. Y'all got to sometimes do your own research. That's why we're here. And we do not want America to just go to the point of no return to where it's just like an economic state of disparity. I mean, despair. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm used to talking. I'm sorry. Despair. <clears throat> so just love yourselves. That's the universal message. I I mean, if I had, if my buddy didn't die doing what he do, did best, which is flying uh, private planes, I would easily, you know, be like, can you sky right in the sky? Love yourselves, everyone. Okay. And I'm sure Mr. Mark Cuban, he just went to Breakfast Club. Yeah, I'm sure he just died to know who I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'm not name dropping, sir. 
I am not name dropping. And it's not necessarily Mark Cuban knew him, but I know that other individuals, in fact, did know him, okay? And now they are in heaven because they're old. So, <clears throat> me and Mark Cuban said, I'm not getting no goddamn shot. Now, leave people alone. I'm not going to keep on telling y'all motherfuckers that. Now, if people want the jab, get the jab. And if you don't want it, like Jim Jordan said, then don't fucking get it, shit. Never going to get it, never going to get it. Hey, Don, how you doing? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not getting no jab. I'm I'm through with getting shots, shit. I done got hit the measles, the fucking chicken pox, all kind of motherfucking shit, y'all, shit. Mumps, goddamn. <clears throat> goddamn it. I ain't had a measles, y'all. I'm just joking. I don't have time. Y'all remember when they said there was a penny shortage? <laughs> then they did the crate challenge. <laughs> What's next? They did the crate check. Can we do a, a, a don't know. Don't be doing the still the basket challenge because I be going to the stores and I don't be seeing no baskets. Baskets be all. Y'all stop stealing the baskets out the stores. <laughs> Stop stealing the baskets out the stores. How you doing, Regine? Girlfriend. Little chipmunk. All grown up. <clears throat> the colonel have no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now, y'all. But it's okay. Even with his social disconnect, he's still a little funny bunny. <clears throat> Happy birthday to my yin-yang. Happy birthday. How you doing, a real original mermaids? <clears throat> How you doing, unicorns? Y'all remember the penny, the so-called penny shortage? All I do is collect penny shots. That's how I used to do my old videos. Just throw them up in the air and while I and make it rain. <laughs> How you doing, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki? Can't you see? Carl Potter don't even know Nikki Minaj. That's one of my favorite artists when she ain't getting on my nerves. Because, you know, people be liking to do that girl fight, cat fight-ish. You know, when you be mistakenly thinking that somebody trying to drag you. But in reality, they got your back. <laughs> How you doing, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki? Her name is Onika. That's her government name. Onika Mirage. She's a Trini Joe Budden. Who didn't figure Joe Button? Somebody was like, who? No, that was Star. Yes. And what is Star Report's government name? Because y'all know behind the scenes, y'all. We get <laughs> I can't go live yet. So, um, on my main podcast. So, behind the scenes. <laughs> I like the troll. I'm a love troll, though. I don't know. That's why I be telling these motherfuckers. Ain't nobody concerned about you. <clears throat> So, yeah, <clears throat> not on no love troll like that, because Star Report ain't my type, Tasha. He ain't my type. Y'all be calling Tasha K a colorist. <laughs> she ain't worrying about you hoes. <laughs> you hating hoes be trying to sit up there and fuck with people. Y'all sit up there. That's why I selected her for the melanated woman, and I selected Kiki Green for the caramel, the mocha chocolate, <laughs> the caramel drop. <laughs> Because I just, uh, as much as these hoes speak about colorism, Tasha is a dark, melanated fucking woman. And you hoes do not like her because you don't like to see motherfuckers progress and you don't like to see motherfuckers turn their lives around. And that is why she has the crown. Now, she be doing a lot of weird videos because I don't get about that fuck boy sitting up there licking his tongue out like a snake and shit. <laughs> Them dudes found out fast he was a fraud. All you did was listen to Team Green, boy. Her name is Kiki for all you hoes that can't say her name, say her name. <clears throat> we don't have a slight disconnect. We just grew up in different regions, so we experienced different things socially, basically. But she still, she had a few white friends and chocolate friends and shit. But she did not have no white boyfriend like you motherfuckers said. <laughs> That's why I had to go ahead and do my own research. Doing it mean asking individuals. Have you ever dated a white boy? Because some days you keep on saying you's a goddamn a mega uh, bed wench. Come to find out y'all hoes the ones that want these white boys that don't want y'all. Now y'all have to. I can't go running back to the black men. Y'all gonna have to sit up there and learn how to be submissive. And when we say submissive, it does not mean being submissive for a jackass or a misogynist or a misogynistic pig. 
You heard Beyonce say, put a ring on and she gonna cater to you. Now, that don't mean going to rush y'all young asses into marriage and shit. You have to, you, you have to learn how to court. You can't just be jumping into shit. Because when you do shit at a young age, you're just jumping into it. It ain't going to, sometimes it don't last. And it's beautiful when it does. And when you guys see elderly couples and they're holding hands and stuff and they're in a part, ask them how they made it last forever in my key sweat voice. Now, I don't know what type of music the Colonel Potter, uh, Colonel Potter listens to. I listen to rap and R&B, sir. And I also like a little bit of country and rock and roll, okay? The kind of music that just soothes my soul. <laughs> Hey, the American people are so funny. Y'all are hilarious and entertaining as well. I'm just here to sit up there. I like to see people uh progress and uh change their lives around or turn their lives around. So that's why I'm in the YouTube streets. And I'm not doing any more tutorials. I've done enough over there. So much of enough. Somebody plagiarized my research, y'all. I think I'm going to sue them next. <laughs> There's so many people on this sue list. <laughs> sue list. So, yeah, I might have to sue some uh, 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 professor that sits on a chair in New Orleans. And the other little bastard, he uh, used to work at Arizona University. Now, I will give you guys some more exclusives. Um, That's going to be a TBA, okay, to be announced, okay? We have a whole bunch of content. I told y'all we've been sitting on, we sit on a lot of stories though. And a lot of stories is not for, a lot of stories are not for public consumption because a lot of individuals like their, you know what I'm saying? Their semi-privacy, which they are entitled to that, no matter their profession, okay? And, um, no, Wendy will, girl, I ain't fanning out. Now you're going to ask me the Browns. I call them Mr. Browns, y'all. That's not that. <laughs> I, I don't, I ain't fanning out. That's rude to bother people while they're eating lunch, darling. Y'all sit up there saying, Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley. Y'all going to tell Chris I say hello. Chris' birthday's on February, y'all. So I don't know if Chris got a cash app. A cash app, your boy, at $5. See, bitch. I was Tory Lane girls. That bitch big for 20, bitch. Drop and give me 50. Drop it. Give me $50, bitch. Give me $50, bitch. $50. $50. And why you bitches game, man? Why did y'all sit up there being some electronic prostitutes <laughs> when all you have to do is be nice to guys and just ask by five different ones for $50 each? And there you go. You have earned your mukbang and your uh, free dinner with no strings attached. <laughs> How you doing, Wendy? We don't know if Wendy is coming back on Monday. Wendy, if you want to retire, honey, it's okay to kick your feet up. And speaking of Wendy, see y'all bitches, y'all made fun of Tasha K because she he her neck swells up or whatever. Then you made fun of Wendy because her feet swell up. You bitches got to age too one day. You got to age too one day. I don't make fun of people's health. Um, not the help. Now, if these motherfuckers walking around here collecting social security checks because <laughs> they SSI recipients and they faking shit, then yeah, bitch, I am going to fucking roast gag <laughs> and all that shit. Okay. Okay. And I'm not funny, y'all. I'm just a little bit fucking funny looking because it's that Irish shit in me. I got freckles and shit. I don't know if my fucking hair type is fucking 2A, 4B, or C, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And one thing you ugly motherfuckers gonna learn how to do is make fun of yourselves. When I say ugly, I mean the pretty ones. You pretty bitches, learn how to make fun of yourselves, bitch, and stop being fucking insecure. Okay? That way when these these wannabe alpha motherfuckers think they can come through to tell you down, just, just put your foot up their ass. Matter of fact, you ain't even got a door that just don't look their way and don't give them motherfuckers any eye contact. I'm gonna be like, 